Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, one of the biggest on-campus stadiums in the country. And on game day, it becomes the fifth biggest city in Alabama. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm joined by the former quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. And we'll also hear from Aaron Andrews in a bit. Welcome to College Football, brought to you by Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. Today, we've got the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Auburn Tigers. This intense season continues, and we've got what should be a great game coming your way. For Auburn, the star of the offense is an electrifying running back. These defenders had better know. You think you have him measured for the tackle, but he can skip out of your grasp in a heartbeat. It's time to head down to the field for the coin toss, now presented by Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And what a play by the kicker to take him down. The offense will take over at the 34. First down, 10 to go. Looks like an option here. Tackled after a decent pickup. Hicks comes away with around five yards on that option keeper. Hicks adjusts the play at the line. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is, he's not getting away. From their own 37-yard line, it's third down. Hicks steps back to pass. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. He may have changed things up here. And he's tackled at the 42. The halfback picks up a yard. Hicks doesn't like what he sees. It's complete, and they're all over it. Hall picks up six yards with that grab. Hicks on the option, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. It has the distance. And he hooked it left. So he can't put the ball through the uprights, and this ball will change possessions. So we'll change possession with a score. Auburn, nothing. Arkansas, nothing.
The offense will start at the 37. First and 10. Tackled after a decent pickup. Honor gets six yards on the carry. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Short pass, middle of the field. He's tackled at the 49er. Gained six yards on the play, and they'll come away with a first down. Well, that's a good-looking play. You can tell that this offense has spent a lot of time working on the timing there. First and 10. Ball on the 49. Brought down right around the 50. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Swatted away. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Daly, back to pass. He launches one for the end zone. So he tried to find his man in the end zone, but he's unable to connect. And he was under a lot of heat there. And the defense did well to get penetration into the backfield and force the incompletion. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Talk about a booming punt. My goodness. Again, it's about stressing special teams. That is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. And they make the stop at the four-yard line. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Hicks changes the play at the line. They go with a run. They'll bring him down at the 12. Hicks calls an audible. But tackle made at the 30. Hicks adjusts the play at the line. Decides to slide. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Hicks changes the play at the line. Hicks drops back. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. It's second down and about three yards. Ball on the 37. This one's broken up. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. It's third down, three to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. They'll throw for the first. And they make the stop at the 37. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled him. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Well, the coverage team did their job and made the play. Let's see if the defense can continue the effort. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency.
Got a man. Watch out here. And he's taken down at the 29. Hill on the tackle at the 29-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. From their own 29-yard line, second down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. So the pass was complete for a gain of five on the play, and that's good enough for a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. First and ten, ball on the 34. Drops back on first down. Got a man, watch out here. He's knocked out of bounds at the 44. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 44. There's a missed tackle. And they make the stop at the 39. Gain of 17 yards. That makes it. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 39. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws a bullet over the middle. Brought down at the 17. He looked pretty confident that time on the throw. Yeah, good throw into coverage it looked like, and you're right, he seems well composed, very sure of himself on that play. From the 17-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled at the 14-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. And that's the end of the first quarter, and there's still no score. From the 14-yard line, second down. They go to the ground game, and he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. Bonner gains around three yards on the run. Here's the eighth play of the series. Third down. go with a run and he's going to be stopped short and he didn't get enough for the first you know brad he's going to come up short here the defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open tackled after a decent pickup they're really putting a nice drive together right now and it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to First down. Here they go. Only two yards from Pater. They bring him down in the backfield. No game to play. That brings up second and goal. Second down. And they're only six feet away from six points. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. He's tackled at the two. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That makes it third and goal. So here we go. It's third and goal from the one, and they're trying to break the tie. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires end zone and tipped away. And that one was oh so close. Close call is right. If he just put a little bit more touch on the ball, that would have been a big play. But let's give credit to the linebacker. That was an athletic play there by the defense. The offense is staying on the field. It's all or nothing. Here we go. Takes 
gets it on the run, and he's met short of the goal line. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. He's taken down at the one-yard line. They're calling an audible. Let's it go. And it falls incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. And down he goes at the four-yard line. Well, they try to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. Oh, excellent punt. And he's tackled at the 44. You hope that a lane or two will open up and give you some space to work with. But that never happened on this kick. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Rose, he's in the open. The 10. And a huge touchdown play. The wide out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? the PAT. McDonald looks ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line. Flags are down and this one might be on the offense. You've probably heard it said that there's holding on every play. It's just not called. I don't think it's really that prevalent, but you can get away with it sometimes, and other times you can't. They'll set up shot at the 16. First and 10. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. Makes the catch and look out at the 40. He's in the open. He's all the way. Touchdown. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. A quick two-play, 84-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. McDaniel looks ready to kick this one off. Wiggins from the two. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. First and 10. Daly drops back to pass. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Wiggins gains four yards on that reception. That makes it, it makes second it and six. six. 
from their own 29-yard line. Second down. Daly drops to throw. And he's brought down at the two. Makes the catch. Jenkins makes the tackle at the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. No catch. He's out of bounds. Great hands there by the wide receiver. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't get a foot down in bounds. Daly drops back to pass. I think the defense jumped the gun a little bit on that play. Offside, on the defense. Still second down. From the one-yard line, second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires a laser touchdown. He's on the receiving end for another score. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game. It usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. converts the extra point. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 14-7. McDonald ready to kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Auburn takes the field, looking to tie it up before halftime. Hicks drops back to pass. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Second and 10, ball on the 24. And he's brought down at the 42. And for Cunningham, he makes it 100 receiving yards. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy, I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. And we're still in the first half, so there's a lot of time left for this kid to build on those statistics. Hicks, options out. He gets to about the 31-yard line. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball, and it got him a first down. Hicks changes the play at the line. They bring the quarterback down. That'll make it second and one. So the sack makes this a second and long. Clancy gets the ball, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Auburn will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. So they run the ball on third and long, and it's stuck. Well, Brad, here the offense is trying to surprise the defense with a run. But it didn't work. There's Looks like he flinched down there on the line. 
Dead ball. Dead ball. One start Let's on the start offense. Off. Still, Still fourth down. down. So they've moved him back, and it's fourth and long. So the kicker can't make the field goal there, and this defense comes away with a small victory. So the score is still Arkansas 14, Auburn 7. First and 10, ball on their own 43. He's wrapped up for the sack. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Rose incomplete, broken up. The safety comes up with a nice play. Nice job of the safety here, sitting back and playing center field, and then seeing the ball and coming up and simply batting the ball away. Daly set to go to the air, and he's going to be sacked. And for Rodgers, that's his fifth sack of the season. I'll tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. Clancy takes it to 28. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. The offense will take over at the 40. job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver and he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets but he's got pretty decent hands as well from the 35 yard line second down he wants it all touchdown big play that completion gives him 200 yards for the first half. Yeah, the quarterback's playing well, but let's not forget about the pass protection. The hog mollies up front are giving him plenty of time to make good throws. Will be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT. It was a quick three-play, 60-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just squib kick this one. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. And we'll go into halftime here with a score all deadlocked. At the end of the first half, the score is tested. Auburn will be kicking off to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Still first down. They'll set up shop at the nine-yard line. It's first and ten. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. They'll bring him down at the 22. Avery with the tackle at the 22-yard line. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 22. like someone was called for holding. Way too much jersey there. Pretty easy call for the officials. So the penalty puts him back for a first and long. Oh. 
He's looking for his man. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. Tackle made at the six. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback. And once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going and he made the pick. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Has a man, but he couldn't drag his foot in. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Clancy hits it on the inside. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. That is a clutch touchdown. Tie game, and they find a way to put it in for six. I know there's a lot of time left, but that was a big one. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, six-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 21-14. Robert is lining up to kick this one off. Taken at the five. Oh, man, he took him down hard. They'll start this drive at the 27-yard line. First and ten. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. He's unable to hit his receiver. He overthrew it. Yeah, and that's a throw he should make every single time. He fights forward to about the 29. Honor comes away with two yards on the carry. From their own 29-yard line, third down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And they tackle him at the 44. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. Man, that is just inexcusable. First and ten. Ball on the 44. Here's the give. He makes his way out to about the 25. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. From the 25-yard line, first down. Tackle at the 24. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 24. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Another catch, and he's up to 100 yards now. This guy's capable of doing this game in and game out. He's that good. Here they go. First and goal, down by a touchdown. They'll bring him down at the three. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. We've got second and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. 
The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Daly steps back to pass. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Third down now and goal to go. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. So it's fourth down. They'll line up the kicking team. This one is about 25 yards away. And the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Arkansas to kick. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. They'll start at the 30. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Inside the 30 to the 10. Touchdown. Huge play. Just an enormous play by this defense. Capitalizing on the offense's mistake and returning it for a touchdown. They've given their team the lead and really made their mark on this game. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. Arkansas to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Brought down at the 28. First and 10, ball on the 28-yard line. Hicks gets the ball, and he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Hicks changes the play at the line. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. He's changing things up. Hicks drops back to pass. Decides to slide, and they convert on third down. Big play here for the offense, and it all starts up front. The line did a good job of sealing their blocks and allowing the ball carrier to almost break it there. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block, as they found out right here on this play. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. Williams was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34.
Looking to throw. Oh, what a catch. And he's tackled at the 11-yard line. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you can see it in the way he threw that pass. Someone down there just a little bit slow to get up. First down on the 10-yard line. McNeil on the right side. And they make the stop at the 10. Wrestle him down in the backfield. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. They give it to the running back, and not much there. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. This one should be makeable. This will be a 30-yard field goal attempt. It's up. And it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Auburn is ready to kick it away. Wiggins from the five. He got hit hard. Wiggins returns the kick. Pickoff return 23 yards. They'll set up shop at the 28. First down, 10 yards to go. Tackle made at the 29. Honor only picks up about a yard there on the counter. That brings up second and nine. That's the end of three, and get ready for an action-packed fourth quarter with this game all tied up. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. And this one's broken up. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. Daly drops back to pass. Brought down at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on their own 43. Caught, and the defense is right there. A yard if they're lucky on that pass play. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Tackled for a loss. The misdirection wasn't fooling the defense at all. That shows some really solid preparation and discipline to stay with their assignments. Makes the grab and steps out right away. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36. Get 
gets it out to him again. And he's taken down at the 15. That last completion puts him over 300 yards passing in the game. Well, this quarterback has had a solid game. He's done what's been asked of him and then some. And this is still a tie game, so he's going to have to keep playing well because this game is far from over. Here's the eighth play of the series. It's first down. Bonner gets the call again. Nice run, and he's brought down. Bonner gains about four yards on the play. It's second down. They'll line up on the 10. He's tackled at the 8. Galloway gets around 3 on the halfback draw. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. In a close game, the outcome often comes down to one play. Maybe that pick was it, but who knows? We've still got some football to be played. First and ten. Ball on the ten. He fights forward to about the 13. Hicks calls an audible. They work it left, and he finds nothing but the defense. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Hicks adjusts the play at the line. Hicks on the option. He makes his way to about the 22. There's a reason why defenses hate playing against teams that run the option well. It's so unpredictable. That time they couldn't defend it properly and they gave up a first down. Tackle at the 25 yard line. Whitaker gets three yards on the carry. Hicks calls an audible. Hicks, the ball carrier. He tackles him for a loss. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Hicks is From their own 21-yard line, it's third down. Drops back to pass. Under pressure. Throws incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. So it's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's tackled at the 35. How about the coverage there? Just a great job there by the punt team to get downfield and make the play on the return man before he could get loose. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 45. They'll keep it on the ground again. Tackle made at the 43. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. He's taken down at the 31 yard line. At the 31 yard line. That makes it first and 10.
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 31. Again with a carry. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Honor gains about five yards on the run. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. They go with the back, and he's got room. Brought down at the 16-yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. They're in the red zone, but that doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time, they got intercepted. Tackle at the 13-yard line. Galloway gets three yards on the carry. It's second down. They'll line it up at the 12. Tackled after a decent pickup. Honor gains about four yards on the play. We've got third and three here. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Honor on the give. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a very good effort on the run, but it all came down to the spot. And fortunately for the offense, it gave them what they needed. First and goal, fourth quarter, all tied up. What's it going to be? Looking for Peter. Found it. Touchdown. What a huge touchdown. I can't believe that they're able to grab the lead with almost no time left on the clock. And he adds the extra point. A nice nine play, 65 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 31, 24. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. He's to the 10. And he's hammered down. The offense will start at the 27-yard line. So they'll have one last shot here to possibly tie this game up. They'll need their prayers to be answered if they don't want to lose this one. And he's going to come up with a sack. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, Arkansas 31, Auburn 24. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Man, this is a fun game to watch today, Brad. Auburn played a great game out there, but I think they were a little bit outmanned. They're a good team, though. They'll bounce back from this. And for Bradford, he earns player of the game recognition for helping his team to a victory. For the Razorbacks, they continue what should be a strong season by increasing their mark to 4-1. And, and for Auburn, 2-4 and four is not where they were hoping to be at the halfway point of the season. Well, that'll do it for another game of NCAA Football 12. For Kirk, Aaron, and all our friends at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye. We'll see you next time.